This pheasant tail nymph was developed by Englishman Frank Sawyer, and it is presented by Ed Story in his handout, Missouri Trout Flies, How to Tie and Fish Them. The fly can be tied on any size hook 14 to 18. I'm tying it on a 14. I'm using brown thread. I laid down a base of brown thread where I'm going to tie in some eight to, he says eight to ten fibers from a center feather on a pheasant. This is cock pheasant. The tail is about a half of the shank and it's just tied in at the hook bend. A couple of wraps right there. We're going to use the rest of this fiber for the body and for the wing casing. It does have a copper wire rib. So I'll also tie that in right there and then I'll bring my thread up to where the thorax is going to be. Then take this clump of tail fibers and wrap them around the hook, touching wraps just to about halfway, maybe a little bit more. Just want to be sure to leave plenty of room out in front here for the thorax. And then tie those off right there. So I want to make sure to tie these standing straight up on top of the hook shank because they're going to be used for the wing casing and then pull them back and wrap underneath of them a little bit. That'll tip them back and give some room to tie in the thorax. Then take this copper wire and I'm going to counter wrap it. I like counter wrapping the ribbing because it goes against the grain or, or against the wrap of the body and lays over it. Also how it helps to tie it in and strengthen it. And then I'm going to tie that off up here in front. Put a couple of good wraps around that wire. Then pull down on the thread to add some tension and wiggle that wire and weaken it so it'll break off right there. I don't know why this tiny little wire doesn't like to... It will eventually break off. There we go. Alright, so then I want to just make sure that this these butt ends are out of my way. And I'm going to take another 8 to 10 center tail fibers and I'm going to tie those in uh, not right at the butt but by the butt end right there I can wrap forward with those and then I'm going to clip out all the junk here keep a clean eye now just taking those fibers that I just wrapped in, I'm going to wrap those around in front of the fibers that are standing up. And this is the thorax. And it can be a little bit tricky to hang on to these without a hackle plier. It's kind of hard for me anyway uh, to use a hackle plier on multiple strands of something. Just kind of pinching them against the hook shank and I can wrap them around, grab them from underneath, tie them off, wrap underneath of them a little bit there to lock them in place, keep my thread from falling off, and then I'll clip out those tips. Then I'll take these butt ends from the body, from the tail and the body, and lay them up over the thorax. Pinch them in right there. 
do a pinch wrap and grab them and wind over them. And adjust them so that they kind of spread out over the top of the thorax. I'm going to wind under a couple wraps here too to just separate them up. It doesn't want to stay with that down eyed hook. Okay, I'll clip those out. Now this is a legless nymph because Frank Sawyer said that in his observations the nymphs tuck their legs when they swam anyway. So he didn't feel it was necessary to tie legs in on his fly. I'll put a whip finish on that. And then I am going to use some resin because I want to coat that wing casing and then I can get it on the head as well. Throw a light on there and a pheasant tail nymph by Frank Sawyer as presented by Ed Story in Missouri Trout Flies, How to Tie and Fish Them.